This is Nashville's News 2 at 10. More than three decades after an elderly mother was viciously murdered, a cold case has been solved. Good evening, I'm Samantha Fisher. And I'm Bob Mueller. The year was 1979 when Ethel Hethcote was strangled to death in her Hermitage home. Tonight, News 2's Joseph Pleasant is here with new details and a story of justice delayed. Now, even though Freddie Lee Johnson is in jail charged with killing Ethel Hethcote, her daughter Norma and her siblings worry someone affiliated with Johnson could still hurt them. Norma asked us not to use her last name for that reason. Tonight she talked to us about an arrest she thought sometimes may never, ever happen. Ethel Hethcote had never owned her own home, but shortly after her husband died, she decided to make that dream come true. Her daughter Norma helped her. I took mother out one Sunday after I learned how to drive. <laughs> And we went and looked at houses. It was inside that house in Hermitage where police say Freddie Johnson strangled the 72 year old woman in January 1979. Norma's sister found her mother's body. Norma says Johnson was installing insulation in the home. She says her mother had been nice to Johnson. My mother was a warm, friendly, loving Christian lady and she thought there was good in everybody. Johnson has a long criminal record. He was convicted of rape in Mississippi the same year Hethcote was murdered. In Nashville, he has faced more than 50 charges over the years, including robbery, theft, and burglary. It took 33 years for Metro's cold case unit to tie Johnson to Hethcote's murder. A grand jury indicted him on Friday. I never thought it, that they would, never did. After all those years, I figured that the only time I'm gonna know is uh, in my next life. Though the arrest cannot bring back Norma's mother, now she hopes Johnson's arrest can bring some peace. I know my mother's in heaven, and uh, I hope that she knows it too. Oh, incredible story. Joseph, what is next for Freddie Johnson? Well, Freddie Johnson is still in jail in lieu of $500,000 bond. He does have an arraignment set for next Wednesday. That is February the 22nd. That's going to be down at the Davidson County Criminal Court. Okay, more details then. Thanks, Joseph. Yeah.